Hey, it's Random Code here, and today we're going to continue discussing some of the Java concepts regarding streams. And in this video, we're going to discuss .filter, where in the last video we discussed the stream.map, we now discuss the stream.filter, where, as the name suggests, the filter functionality takes in a function of how we would like to filter some kind of elements in a list or a stream, so anything that could be iterated through. So in this case, I have created a very simple list of numbers containing a list of integers, numbers, a new array list, where the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. If I then wanted to filter, so remove the numbers not matching some condition, I would do, so let's just save it, save it in the same object, so numbers equals numbers dot stream dot filter. We could then either give it a method function, where this function should take in an integer as an input parameter, and return a boolean, allowing us to check each int if it's matching some condition. Or in this case, I've just used a simple lambda. So I would take my number and I would then simply return boolean value rather than my number is number is larger than one, for example. And we then need to get it as a to list. And note we can do to list, which is like modern way of doing it since Java 16, or we could do dot. Collector, collect, collectors to list, but to list just simply a bit more clean. So simply we're going to iterate through all our numbers using a stream, meaning just going through the numbers one by one. We will then filter, meaning we use this function to check on a condition, in our case, if a number is larger than one. And we then extract all our elements that are left in our stream after our filtration and return it to numbers again. So we should now see that our list should now contain all the numbers larger than one. So Two, three, four. And once again, I just want to showcase, like I did the last video, that this is function, lambda expression. So we can also take a function by doing public boolean sort, let's just call it filter numbers, and it needs to take in an input parameter matching whatever element we are streaming through. So in this case, it's going to be our integer number and we can then simply return the boolean as we're doing here the same way return a boolean of is our number larger or smaller than one and we can then simply do here we need to create an instance of our main class so main main equals new main and we can then extract our filter numbers from our main object by doing main colon filter numbers. And it should then work the exact same. And it does. So what we can see is that we simply need to pass some kind of function method check condition by either doing a lambda, which is like an inline function, or we can create a function like this, having like a bit more separation of how we actually do the filtration. But in general, that is the basic concept of .stream.filter in Java. Iterate through all the elements in some list. We can do a list, a set, a queue, a stack, anything that's iterable. Stream through it. Filter, simply check on like some condition. If the condition is true, keep the object. If it's not, remove it. So I hope you enjoyed this quick showcase of .stream.filter in Java. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I wish you all a wonderful day.